topic of my speech is how optimism helps me overcome my obstacles. Do you know someone who always seems to have a smile or positive thought? Or are you yourself one of those people who are always full of optimism? For optimists, hardships are seen as learning experiences, and even the most miserable day always holds the promise for them that tomorrow will probably be better. We all face obstacles in our life, some big, like a death or being paralyzed, or smaller things, like giving a speech at school. But how we face them is a choice that can affect our health, our happiness, and most importantly, the outcome of the obstacle. Think about this. If you are doing an important task and you say you know you can do this task, usually you will be able to accomplish it. Thinking you can do it can make it happen. When I was planning for this speech, I thought I would not be able to write it well enough or even think of anything to write. Sure enough, when I sat down in front of my computer to write, I couldn't think of anything. But once I was optimistic that I could do this, my anxiety lessened and I wrote a piece. Winston Churchill once said, an optimist sees an opportunity in every calamity, but a pessimist sees a calamity in every opportunity. Using optimism is one of the best and most effective ways to overcome your obstacles. If you always see the brighter side of things, you may feel you experience more positive events in your life than others find yourself less stressed, and even enjoy greater health benefits. In a study of 99 Harvard University students, those who are optimists at age 25 were significantly healthier at ages 45 and 60 than those who are pessimists. Another study has linked a pessimistic attitude with higher rates of infectious disease, poor health, and earlier mortality. Scientists analyzed the explanatory styles of sports teams and found that the more optimistic teams bring more positive energy and perform better than the pessimistic ones. Another study showed that pessimistic swimmers who were led to believe they'd done worse than they actually had were prone to poor future performance. Optimistic swimmers didn't have this vulnerability. In general, optimistic people are less bothered by various diseases and can accomplish their goals with ease. A lot of us know about the surfer girl named Bethany Hamilton. Bethany always dreamed of becoming a professional surfer. But on October 31st, 2003, she had her arm bitten off by a shark. Bethany's dream was shattered. However, we wouldn't know about Bethany, and there would be a movie about her, if she said she couldn't serve and just quit doing what she loved. But Bethany didn't quit. She was optimistic that she could do it, and she did surf again. Another benefit of an optimistic attitude is that you can learn from overcoming your obstacles. This can lead to future success. When I overcame the obstacle of writing this speech, I knew I could write a speech again and not have to worry about it in the future. Knowing God controls everything and has a plan can make us feel optimistic and confident about all things. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Overcoming your obstacles using optimism can give you confidence and knowledge about what to do the next time you encounter an obstacle. Jeremy Lin is a great example of this optimism. After receiving no athletic scholarship offers out of high school and being undrafted out of college, the 2010 Harvard University graduate reached a partially guaranteed contract later that year with his hometown Golden State Warriors. Lin seldom played his rookie season and was assigned to the NBA Development League three times. The following year, he was waived by Golden State and the Houston Rockets before joining the New York Knicks. Last month, he unexpectedly led a winning streak by New York while being promoted to the starting lineup. Jeremy Lin never gave up, even when he was undrafted and barely played. His optimism has made him one of the most famous basketball players in the U.S. All in all, optimism is a force of nature that can help us overcome our obstacles, make us healthier and happier people, and give us confidence to trust in God and His plans. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. I have used optimism many times other than writing this speech, and I know that optimism can make things happen. It's all in your attitude. So next time you encounter an obstacle, don't sit in the corner and feel sorry for yourself. Tell yourself you can do it and go out there and make it happen. That's what I'm talking about.